Tens of thousands of people attended the 49th annual March for Life in Washington late last week. They were there to speak out on the value of human life and the evil of abortion. And if Republicans take back the House and Senate in midterm elections later this year, they say that they will make pro-life issues a priority. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. Catholic Congressman Chris Smith spoke to thousands at the March for Life in the nation's capital last week, the day before the rally. The New Jersey Republican wrote an editorial for The Washington Times. He says President Biden's embrace of the pro-abortion agenda has caused him to speak out and should cause other people of faith to speak out as well. The idea behind this op-ed was to try in some small way to make people even more aware that Joe Biden, who used to be modestly pro-life, is now aggressively pro-abortion, so much so that he is the abortion president. In his op-ed, the Republican chair of the Congressional Pro-Life Caucus writes, quote, Today, a radically different, almost unrecognizable Mr. Biden has weaponized the entire federal bureaucracy to aggressively promote abortion on demand, at home and overseas. That view isn't shared by most Democrats, including the commander-in-chief. Catholic President Joe Biden said in a statement the day after the march, the Biden-Harris administration strongly supports efforts to codify Roe, and we will continue to work with Congress on the Women's Health Protection Act. Senator Patty Murray from Washington State, also a Catholic, says the U.S. Supreme Court's legalization of abortion in 1973 has improved women's lives. It prevented a lot of harm and helped keep many patients healthy it opened doors for women to pursue their career and education goals, and it affirmed the right to control our own bodies and our own futures. Roe was a giant leap forward. Killing a baby is not a human right. It's the antithesis of a human right. The human right is to live, uh, to be unmolested and unkilled uh, in the case of, a, of an abortion. And, and um, so this is the most fundamental of all human rights. Most Americans appear to agree on pro-life measures. A Knights of Columbus Marist poll released last week shows 71% of Americans support legal limits on abortion. Congressman Smith tells me that Republicans are anxious to take back the House in November, allowing them to solidify pro-life protections. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.